Last week, we took $500 to Earl Teat Music in Del Mar, Delaware, and bought ourselves a guitar. What did we get? We're going to find out together today, right here on Geargasm. Welcome to Geargasms. I'm your host, Alan Barnes. I guess I've spoiled the surprise already right up front, but that's okay. Did you guys guess last week which one I was going to buy, or were you completely surprised? Once again, thanking Dean and Chris from Earl Teat Music in Del Mar, Delaware, for letting me take this baby home and foster it for a week and, and share it with you guys on the channel. We're going to go through all the specs. I'm going to just treat you to some really hideous playing. But first, if you're new to the channel, I'd like to ask you to like and subscribe. This channel is kind of like a really good looking woman with bad breath. Sure, the visuals will draw you in, but after about 15 minutes, you're moving on to the next one. Celebrate mediocrity. This is the Ibanez RG421PB. PB stands for Poplar Burl. Two humbuckers, ceramic pickups. Let me tell you about this switching system. It's a five-way blade, single volume, single tone. But this here switching system is not your normal five-way blade like you might find on, say, a Charvel. This five-way, you got just pick up full humbucker. Position two, inner coils, split strap. Position three, both humbuckers. Position five, neck humbucker. Why did I skip four? What's it going to be? The outside coils? No, no, it ain't. It is parallel. The, the humbucker in parallel. That's position four. It's subtle, but it, but I like it. Now, it's a poplar burl top, but it's a Maranti body. Now, Maranti or Maranti or however you say it is essentially Philippine mahogany. This fingerboard is interesting. It is called Jatoba. Now, that's a fancy word for what's also known as Brazilian cherry. That sounds fancy, doesn't it? Here's the punchline. It don't come from Brazil. It comes from Central America and Southern Central Mexico. And it ain't even in the cherry family. Of course, just a glorious, typical Ibanez smooth, no finish on the back of the neck, maple neck. Six Ibanez tuners. Of course, looking at the back, that super smooth sculpted heel. Now on the back, you might notice that, that the strings are not in a line. As it goes over to E, it starts to curve. And then when I first saw that, I was like, oh, there's a factory defect. But no, I think what they're doing is actually making that scale just a little bit longer on this E string because I think their intention with this is people are going to take it and they're going to chug oof it. And they're probably not wrong. Continuing with the neck, it is a 15.7 inch scale because it's in millimeters. Jumbo frets, 24 of those bad boys. But yeah, it's got a belly cut, just a beautiful finish. Enough of my yammering. Let's hear what this thing sounds like. Did I cover everything? I hope I did. If I didn't to buy it. In case you haven't noticed your old pal Al, I got a I got a hurt wing. I had tennis elbow and I haven't played tennis all summer. Come on! It's mousing. And then it got more severely injured. I have only like shot two guitar videos in the last month. It's so painful. So unlike the normal superstar playing and uh, mind bending licks that you guys get out of me, you're going to get something really, uh, you're going to get trogly level. I ain't even going to apologize. I'm hurt. No cam an old man. But let's talk about this guitar. I'm demoing it through uh, the Boss Katana, just like we did in the store last week, just because it seems fair and I want it to be consistent. This, this one on the bridge pickup. Now these are ceramic, but they don't sound harsh to me at all. This is position two, the quack. Oh brother, this guy stinks! The middle, both pickups.
We're gonna go straight to, to the neck position because that's the humbucker. And now we have parallel. That's humbucker series, humbucker parallel. It just sounds surprisingly mellow, first of all, for an Ibanez that looks like this. But second of all, Ceramic pickups aren't normally my jam for clean. They they're usually kind of quacky and, and they just have a lot of attack. But these are these aren't these ain't half bad. Give you some single notes, bridge pickup. Position two. Middle. Four. Five. So yeah. Just, just that little glimpse there of, you can really see there are five distinct personalities with this five-way blade switch and without any of the mucky muck of pull pots. But yeah, it'll do all that. A little bit of neck, single notes. on the clean on a katana and just gave it a little boost check the tune in still in tune and by the way normally when I get a new guitar I change the strings right away even if it's a borrowed demo guitar I didn't have to on this one you want to know why because it's shipped with Diodario's bubba that middle. Oh, see? Passing an edge scanner test. Uh, Loser. <laughs> I'm hurting. All right, let's move it along. What are we doing? We just wanted to boost, right? So on here. That was the bridge. Lots of good stuff there. I know that's not what you want to hear though, but in summary of the clean, this thing sounds a lot more just, just earthy and organic and, and not at all like a shredder, surprisingly based on its looks. All right, we moved on to the crunch. Will it crunch? Bridge pickup. Position two. Ooh, you suck. Middle. Parallel neck pickup. Regular neck pickup. Oh, I love that. Uh, everybody loves that. Nobody loves that. That's Jam Brady. That's the middle. <laughs> Even with a bad arm, I got to give that one another go. Should have left it alone. That's what she said. But that's crunch. Let's hear some single notes.
That's awful. All right. Are we tired of crunch yet? Let me give you some, some single note next. Let's hear that out of phase. Y'all counting the attitude bends I'm doing? It's a drinking game. Oh. Check that tune in again. You like my mini pearl tag on it? I know you do. I do not care. I knew somebody had left me. All right, so now we've moved on to lead, and this is where I expect it to oof. Now, right away, that doesn't have enough oof for me. I'm gonna put on a boost. So we're just gonna focus on the oof. Will they do it? Almost. But yeah, listen to those pickups. This is <laughs> some serious gain. Listen to this A chord. Listen to the B chord. Listen to the C chord. D D D D D. That, neck. that is surprisingly tight. I expected it to be Wolf City. That sounds evil as shit. that hiss that means we're on the brown sound on the katana That's right, yes. I've got the gain pretty much close to all the way up and I got a boost the green boost about three quarters of the way up will it oof There it was, it didn't have the tone all the way up. Goodness gracious. There it is. <laughs> there it is. It'll go. See if it still has clarity in all the notes. Let, let's let's throw a little bit of delay on and I'll I'll do some stupid painful noodling and then we'll wrap this up. How about that? Y'all wanna hear that high E? You want some neck? Okay. Let's hear what that uh, out of phase or the uh, parallel sounds like. tell as much when you're when you when you got this much makeup on it that was one of the ugliest feedback <laughs> things I've ever heard in my life it had like a tiny Tim trail in it oh god oh.
Well, what did we learn today? We learned that don't judge a book by its cover. As soon as you see this guitar, you think it's going to do one thing, but it was surprisingly versatile and super organic in both the clean and crunch tones. We also learned that my, my prejudice against ceramic humbuckers, especially on clean tones, it might be a little bit misplaced because this thing was not at all quacky or clacky or any of that. And finally, we learned, even though I had a $500 budget, I didn't even have to spend $500. All three guitars were $500, except this one. This was $400, and this one actually was the one that I liked the best. That's good news for all of us. Once again, thanking Earl Teat Music in Del Mar, Delaware, Dean and Chris. You guys are the men. <clears throat> that was awkward. <clears throat> the good news for you all is I'm going to take this back. That means if you like it, you can buy this very guitar from Earl T. Now, if you don't live around here and you ain't going to drive five hours for a $400 guitar, I feel you. I will also have a link in the description to Sweetwater to this specific guitar as well. As always, I thank you for the time that you spend with the channel. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Tell some of your ratty, moochy, freeloading friends about Geargasms. It'll give them something to do and get them off your back for a little while. We got merch if you'd like to support the channel. T-shirts, pillows, mugs, leggings. Whatever you do in the next seven days, don't tell Les Claypool about it, unless he brings Winona's Big Brown Beaver. And even then, it's a maybe. But play more guitar. Watch less of this, but keep coming back here week after week for more Geargasms.